project to really bring this perfect car uh, to, uh, to our market. And uh, one thing we had to really look after is to make sure that this car uh, provides the value and it really provides the relevance to all the different target groups that, uh, that Scott already talked about. So this car is larger than its predecessor. This car has a lot more equipment than its predecessor. This car has certainly a lot more technology than its predecessor, and yet it offers really an exceptional value compared to its predecessor, and that's what we're hoping to share with you tonight as well as uh, throughout the launch activities of this wonderful car. Now, the, uh, the car is, from what we think, absolutely perfect in terms of design, and in fact, we've, we thought it was so important that we invited someone uh, that will speak to you in just a little while about how, uh, how perfect it is. But, you know, in the typical Audi fashion, uh, the way we do things is sort of never easy and it's always important to be relevant, specific to what we uh, set out to endeavor. And so in this case, uh, you know, uh, normally what you would do is you would take your three-door or five-door version that you're uh, creating in Europe and you would slap a trunk on it and there you go, there you, go you have a sedan. And uh, we didn't do, we did actually the exact opposite of that in fact. Uh, we, uh, we made the car wider, we made the car longer. Um, that means we have to change every single sheet metal on the car compared to all the variants that we have in Europe. But we did that to really make sure that this car is designed absolutely perfect in the way that it looks. And we hope that you, along with us, appreciate that. Uh, at the same time, uh, Scott already talked about uh, the fact that this is not uh, your entry level uh, Audi, but it's really more an A8 in a smaller package. Uh, and this is very much also reflected in the interior. Uh, if you look at the fit and finish and the materials that we have selected for the A3, the wraparound uh, feature, and a lot of the design and language that Danny will speak to you in, in a few minutes as well. But also notice the, uh, the clean and uncluttered um, equipment that we are putting inside, inside the interior to really make sure that it's not only uh, very beautiful and very accommodating, but it's also very easy to use. And that's something that you will hopefully find in the A3 as well. Now, continuing the typical Audi fashion, not only did we uh, set out to uh, uh, build this uh, completely different car, but we actually built a completely new factory for it. Um, this factory is in Győr, Hungary. Um, it is where we are uh, today producing many of our engines, and we have added the capability to build this all-new A3 Senat, as well as the Cabriolet model. So these two models are built in Hungary, completely new plant, over a billion dollars, worth of investment that we made there to make sure that it has its own uh, body plant as well, uh, uh, body shop as well as a paint shop. Um, we have laser measuring equipment on the line, uh, absolute uh, latest and the most modern in the production technology. But you know what, all of this is actually not relevant until the customer comes and sees it at the dealership and actually goes and buys one. And so I really invite you to take a look at the quality of the bodies that we are showing here and of course on the cars outside and I challenge you to find a better car from a put together fit and finish not only in the A segment and in the luxury segment but in pretty much all the industry. That's how proud we are of the new factory and of the quality that is coming out of that factory in terms of the build of the new Audi A3. Now as far as performance we wanted to make sure that we have a wide array of uh, power plants uh, this is why we chose the uh, entry level 1.8 TFSI with 170 horsepower and then of course we have 2 liter TFSI with quattro all wheel drive and 220 horsepower. And those are only two variants that we are discussing today but as Scott already mentioned we have the S3 which will be a high output version of the 2 liter TFSI as well as a TDI version. Um, so as you see the, uh, the, the choice for uh, customer is, customers is, is really quite wide when it comes to powertrains. Uh, both of these powertrains belong to the newest uh, third generation, um, as we call it, EA triple A family, a family of engines uh, that we have designed specifically uh, with a lot of new innovations around thermodynamics as well as um, uh, friction uh, improvements to really get uh, great, uh, great efficiency out of these models as well. All of these, of course, both of these variants come with uh, six-speed s comic transmission that is standard equipment on the new A3. As far as chassis goes, uh, also completely new. Uh, we have a McPherson strut in the front. We have four-link uh, rear suspension on both of the TFSI models. 
We have electromechanical steering, uh, which is not only for efficiency purposes, but it also allows us to take advantage of the latest driver assistance systems, like the Audi Lane Assist, for example, that we will talk about in just a few minutes. Uh, we have quattro all-wheel drive, of course, available in the, uh, in the, in the two-liter version, as we discussed, and the class-exclusive option 19-inch wheels, uh, which is going to be available uh, also in the A3. Now, Ultra is a, is, a, is a name that we like to use for our um, lightweight technology, and it's lightweight and it's also uh, strength, what you see here, of course, is the body shell of the A3. Uh, you will find it perhaps very interesting to know that despite the fact that the sedan is a larger car than its outgoing sportback, we have saved about 120 pounds compared to a comparable sportback of the predecessor uh, predecessor model. So I think that tells you all in terms of what we're able to achieve with lightweight technology. In addition to that, what you see in the red here on the picture is an ultra high strain steel uh, that we are forming by heating up the, uh, the material to a very extreme temperature, about 1800 um, uh, degrees, and then we cool it very quickly and then we stamp it and as we do that, uh, we, we're really able to achieve a very, very high strength uh, out of this material and that's what's pretty much encompassing the occupant cell of the A3. So it's also going to be a very, very safe car and uh, we are looking to uh, be making announcements in this area specifically as it relates to uh, uh, safety tests which we believe will, will, will really show and be very favorable for the new Audi A3. Now the safety story continues because for us it's not just about having airbags, which for us is just a, a, a matter of fact and, and uh, always there. Uh, also active safety is very important and so in this case standard equipment on the A3 is a new pre-sense system that we have available. Uh, pre-sense system is a system that combines uh, uh, several different uh, electronic controls units that talk to each other and uh, in case there is an imminent crash uh, there is an ability to tighten seat belts as well as roll up the windows uh, just sort of before they close all the way to protect from the but at the same time to leave some space for air coming in. And uh, this system is standard equipment and actually as you use all the different active safety systems that we then have inside the cars and options such as adaptive cruise control or uh, Audi Lane Assist, you really are able to take it to the next level as far as the active safety and the protection of the uh, of the occupants, and that's something we were definitely definitely aiming for. Uh, besides that, we wanted to make sure that it's also a proper package. So it's very sporty looking, and Danny will talk to you a lot more about that. But we wanted to make sure that that sporty looking just didn't mean uh, uh, taking a uh, taking a. Uh, a drawback in terms of uh, in terms of package. So it's a full adult five seat. So for those occasions that you want to really bring your friends with, uh, you are able to do that. We have a, a space for three in the back, and uh, as you can imagine, uh, we also feel pretty confident about the fact that we have over two inches more headroom in the back than at least one of our primary competitors. And I think you can imagine who that is. So really, a very important to have that uh, to have that package in the rear seat. Also, the trunk um, uh, about 12 cubic uh, feet for the uh, for the front and uh, about 10 or so for the quattro. And uh, of course, with standard equipment, folding seats, we are able to uh, extend that versatility to a new level uh, and really uh, uh, give the customers the extra package that they need to bring whatever they need in their cargo. Thank you.